protraction means that my shoulders are coming forward. Retraction means my shoulders are coming back. We really want to maximize this in the golf swing to get every ounce of club head speed we can get, making golf as easy as we can. So what I want you to do here is let's set up and do what I call the lawnmower drill. Let's get our hands in front. And what I want to imagine again is here my hands are level, I'd be rotating level with the ground. Let's go ahead and hit, tilt forward until I'd be rotating kind of on that plane again, just like we did with the club. And I want to go ahead and grab here, imagine I'm grabbing a lawnmower, kind of a, a cord that I would start a lawnmower with. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and pull this lawnmower back and I'm going to pull it all the way back up to my chest. I'm going to go as far back as I can with my elbow going up. So what this has done is that's really opened up my right shoulder. I've retracted my right shoulder to really help me load up in the backswing. So I'm going as far as I can and then I'm going to go ahead and let my arm come all the way back. As I come down, I'll let my arm swing down. And then from there, as I get to impact or what would be impact, I'm going to let my hips open up and then I'm taking the, the left hand, just like a lawnmower, and I'm going to pull it coming all the way on through. So again, we're getting four or five reps in with this. Really let that come back as far as you can. Open up the chest, let the right side of the chest retract, and then extend your arm as far as you can. Maybe you can only go to here. Maybe you're not going to get as far. Maybe if you're a little more flexible, you can open up your chest even a little bit more and get it facing the sky. I'm not that flexible, but some of you may be. Let that open up. And then as I come down, let my arms come together. That would be impact. And then open up the left side of it. Again, I'm staying in my posture as I'm doing this, really letting my shoulders open up, impact. And then I'm coming through and opening up. Now let's make this a little bit more like a golf swing instead of the lawnmower action. The lawnmower really opened us up. Let's make this a little bit more accurate now. So we talked about how, you know, I could put my arms out and rotate this way, and I'm just gonna hinge forward. Let's do the same thing here now. So as I come to the top of the backswing, I'm gonna go ahead and rotate all around. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my arms to stay 90 degrees with my shoulders. So as my shoulders rotate, my arms rotate. And from there, I'm gonna try to get my left arm pointing as far behind the golf ball as I can, or the imaginary golf ball there. My right arm's gonna go as far behind me as I can. Now from there, as I start my downswing, I wanna go ahead and turn that hand down. This will be what we call covering the golf ball, getting some forward shuffling, getting some lag. This is really important to square the face up earlier. I'll get to that later in this video, but I wanna go ahead and go to the top and then square up my hands. So my left hand, my logo, of my glove points down to the ground. If this was what's called flexion, meaning that I'm taking the palm of my hand, putting it back toward my body, that's what I would feel there. So that's flexion. As I turn that hand down, the palm of my hand is facing toward my chest. If I'm doing my right hand, instead of having it open here, I'm gonna have the palm bent back and facing away from me. So again, it's that what would be extension of the right hand or the knuckles of my right hand facing back toward me. So I go to the top of the swing, I do my, my squaring of the club face, palm of my left hand toward my chest, knuckles of my right hand going back. I'm coming down to impact. So if I meet those two hands up here, that would be what would be forward shaft lean in the golf swing. And the driver, we're behind that driver, it actually still has a little bit of forward shaft lean because we're behind it, we're releasing in front. That's gonna make it pretty much straight up and down. We'll, we'll get to that here in a second when we add the club. But I'm coming down to impact, and then from there, I'm rotating all the way around. Again, my hand is facing my chest. My knuckles of my, my right hand are kind of facing back at me, and I'm rotating all the way on through. So again, I'm starting out with my hands kind of 90 degrees, full backswing. As I start, before I start my downswing, I'm gonna get my hands in a position where it's early squaring of the club face. That's what we call the move in the top speed golf system. I'm coming down to impact, and then I'm letting that extend on through. Arms out, square the face, come down to impact, come all the way on through. So again, my hands are doing this motion as I'm squaring that face. What I don't want to do is I don't want to do this motion, which would be the opposite direction. That would be the flip or the cast that's early from the top. I want to have my hands back. So rotate to the top, hands back, come to impact, hands all the way on through. Do a good five to 10 reps of those, get comfortable with that. Then let's add the club. 